with more ring action for you. So the cursed tape is back, bitches. Anyway, six months after the events of the first film, Rachel is called to a murder of a young boy who apparently watched the tape, because of course he did. As she's studying his body, Samara appears and says she's been looking for her. And on that note, I'd be like, okay, bye. Rachel finds the cursed tape and then burns it, like she should have done in the first film, but obviously, It'll only make shit worse. Samara then goes after Aiden and possesses him. And then a bunch of fuckery begins to occur, and Rachel decides to take Aiden to her co-worker's house for safety, because apparently this guy is going to protect them somehow. Of course that ends poorly when her co-worker Max sees Rachel drowning Samara, which is really her son, Aiden. Aiden gets taken to a facility and then Child Protective Services is called, banning her from seeing him until further notice. And this time, Rachel seeks out Samara's birth parents for more insight into her past. The trail leads her back to the foster parents' home from the first film. After some more investigating, Rachel finds Samara's birth mother, who, by the way, also tried to drown her. Damn, this bitch just can't win, I guess. The mother basically tells her that she's only safe in her dreams. Well, I guess at this point, it's a good thing this isn't a Freddy crossover, right? Rachel returns to Max's house to find out that Aiden has been sent home, and he's there waiting for her. Oh, and also Max is dead. Rachel then falls asleep. I mean, you know, people are just getting killed all around you, but you're just gonna take a quick nap, I guess, right? Good luck with that, lady. In her dream, Aiden tells Rachel that she'll have to exercise Samara to get her out of him. So she does just that and intentionally drowns her son. This movie is kind of sending a bad message, don't you think? A lot of drowning. A lot of drowning. Anyway, so she only kind of drowns him just long enough to release Samara from his body, and then she gets sucked back into the TV in her weird, like, video world. And then Rachel, of course, follows her in there. She finds herself at the bottom of the well, and then she climbs it to escape. Samara soon follows, doing that weird, like, I don't know, like, pretzel leg like spider thing it's just it's unnerving i don't like it Anyway, so Samara gets trapped inside the well and Rachel escapes back to the real world to be with her son, and they live happily ever after. Well, of course until another sequel is made, right? Alrighty then guys, see you on the next one.